Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. And so, this week is, I don't know what this week's gonna in store for me or for us, but I know today, well, first of all, how are y'all feeling? I'm feeling great, I'm feeling amazing. But today, um, I just got out the shower. Um, you know, I got myself together. And today, I have a few things I need to get done. So today, first thing I need to get done is my to-do list. On my to-do list, I need to get my eyebrows done. I need to go to the eye doctor so I can, like, tighten up my glasses a little bit. And then three, um, I need to start editing and filming some YouTube videos because I'm a little bit behind since I came back on my trip from Miami. And I still need to upload that vlog for y'all. Um, I know, don't get me started, I know. But yeah, uh, I need to upload that vlog and I need to um, just clean and organize my room really and start getting myself together for the new school year that's coming up. So yeah, that's basically all we're gonna be doing today. So let's just get started. Hey, truck to the plane to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages. All right, y'all. So I just got dressed, and right now I might go head out to my eyebrow appointment because it's time. And um, and I want to say I want to go to Target just to look around, but I probably won't because it's like hot outside. Uh, well, that's what it says on the weather app, but most likely it's gonna be hot. And then I need to go get my glasses tied up. So those are the two places I need to go today. All right, so I made it to my eyebrow appointment. Um, of course, my baby hairs did not last long within this heat, so that's to be expected. But I'm about to walk into my hair appointment. Well, not hair appointment, my eyebrow appointment. So I can get my brows done because that's what they look like. They just need a little trim. That's it, just a little trim, and that's it. Um, and then we're going to go to the eyeglass place because they should be open because I usually close around. 12 30 to 1 30 ish around there for like lunch or something so by the time i get done with my eyebrow they should be open and we're just gonna drive there and get my glasses tied up and then i could go to target really quick but it's a little hot today and plus i want to give me something to do tomorrow so i might as well just go to target tomorrow just to have something to do and yeah so yeah Okay, so I just got back from getting my eyebrows done. So this is how they look. Let me move this out the way. So these are my eyebrows. Cute. She just trimmed. I told her like just like do like a quick trim around the brows. I didn't need like a full on brow thing, but she ended up giving me like a full brow thing, which is cool. So these are my brows and I'm really happy about them. I feel a little better since I have my eyebrows done. But and yeah i really like how she do my eyebrows i have another bra lady i go to um but i didn't feel like driving all the way that all the way over there but even though it's like 10 minutes like another 10 minute drive i just didn't feel like doing that so right now um we are headed to the um what is it the eyeglass place i call it eyeglass place but the eye doctor so i can get my glasses fixed and tighten up so i can um wear my glasses better so they won't be falling off my face so yeah all right y'all so i'm back from aldi's um i ended up getting this vet life vita life pineapple mango organic sparkling probiotic drink and then and it's 70 calories which i don't keep up with my calories i just eat um and yeah i'm gonna try it that will be like my lunch for today so I already had breakfast, which was a Chipotle chicken and cheese bagel, like toasted bagel that I made with leftovers that was in the refrigerator. And so I got this calzone because I didn't realize all of these sell calzone. So I ended up getting a pepperoni calzone that has pepperoni, mozzarella, ricotta, provolone, 
Romania keys filled with Romania in a golden pocket. And it's ready to eat in two minutes. So it's one of those like pre-made lunches. And I'm eat this and drink this as my lunch. And then that's pretty much it. It was too hot to do anything else. It was like 94, 95 degrees outside. I could not. I suppose my phone's about to die. So I had to come home because I don't I don't like being anywhere with my phone being dead or my phone being died anyway because I like having my phone. But um yeah, that's basically all I did today. Um I'm gonna take a shower. Well no. Honestly, would I wanna take a shower now or late? I might wait because I just took one before I left. So today well Prior for the rest of the day, I'm just going to chill out and watch some Messy Monday. Because I did miss the last two Mondays. Or a couple of Mondays. It's been more than two. But a couple of Mondays. And then um, I'm going to make a blueberry lemon. Either a cake or cupcakes. I don't know. I feel like a cake will be better. Because that way people can portion off how much they want to eat. Um, but then again, cupcakes are more like a portion control. Anyways regardless i'll make a blueberry lemon cake cupcake thing so um i'll see y'all when i start making that but for right now i'm just gonna sit, sit out and chill out watch the messy monday and just enjoy the day basically oh and i'm gonna start editing the miami vlog too while i'm sitting around so yeah so i'll see y'all then when i make the cake one eternity later right now i'm trying to figure out why i'm aware to my friends candle shop like opening slash kind of like first day type of thing so right now i'm trying to figure out what to wear i have outfits in mind i just don't know what to wear because it's at a karaoke place and um to me when i think of karaoke I think like fun different bright colors and stuff so I'm, i might have to wear like a bright outfit but I also want to wear something like very chill and relaxed, like jeans and a nice shirt. But um, I don't know what to wear. And plus, I had asked her is there like a certain color theme, um, what colors I should wear and stuff like that. She said I can wear anything, just be cool and casual. And, you know, that's really it. But I'm trying to decide what to wear. And I also took down my braids because I was just tired of them. Like... The look, my edges started coming out on uh, the back of my head, like the edges, the kitchen part started coming out. It was just a mess. So I was like, let me just take these down. It took about three hours to take down because I was taking my time because I got it to match the color of my natural hair. And um, I didn't want to cut my natural hair again because I did that last time. I ended up cutting like a section of my hair. But that's, but it grew back. But that's that happened like in the past but yeah so um i'm trying to decide which outfit i want to wear to her event tonight which is at 5 30 and it's currently i think two o'clock so i have literally not even three or four hours to get ready so let me hurry up and pick an outfit or at least see what outfit i'm wearing and i'm gonna show y'all too so hold on so this is the first outfit um, I was supposed to wear this outfit in Miami, but I never did get a chance to. So, I just got these white shorts, this graphic kind of funky color pattern shirt. Both the, um, this whole, like, outfit's from Sheen. And then I'm gonna wear the pink shoes to kind of match the pink in the shirt. I thought about wearing this in my pink bag. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like it's too much for karaoke. But I feel like it's just amount like it's just enough for karaoke without doing too much but let me show you the other outfit i had in mind okay, so i have this outfit right here these are like little cargo pants jeans like that and with this top from sheen uh it has like this cutout because it's like it's still hot outside but i still want to um be warm inside the karaoke place without to carry like a jacket or anything or I could wear it with this little black, like, just, like, across, like, this type of thing, shirts that cut out on the sides. I could wear this in my dunks or some, like, shoes or something with my hair. 
but honestly i feel like this would be cute but i don't know yet i don't know so i have this outfit these jeans i think from sheen or fashion nova they kind of crisscross on the sides uh, of each other then this this orange top is from a two-piece set from sheen i wore it on i think uh, my florida shoe i think last year or the year before last i posted i know i took pictures in it but i didn't post pictures in it but i might post them i don't know and then the back is out like that so i might wear this outfit to her even i don't know but i feel like i shouldn't because it's like doing a lot and i don't want to like dress weirdly to her event and be like kind of like out of place or overdressed or underdressed that type of thing so i might just go back with the first outfit because i feel like that'll be better for the sake of like her um candle business and kind of like reading the room because it's kind of like a business type event not really it's like a casual business but still i don't want to go in there and look crazy either so like i'm going to the club or something so that's I feel like this would be decent somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know. Or I might just wear the whole... No, no. I'm not going to wear the orange one to her. I might wear just the first outfit with the shoes in the bag. And just take pictures in those. Yeah, I feel more comfortable with the first outfit than the last other two outfits. And so for my hair, I might just do like either a side swoop thing. Or I might just do like a slip back bun or something or ponytail because my hair is still in that form of like when i was getting the braids and it's kind of like that uh blow dry like puffy look so i might just do that and um i wouldn't necessarily strain my hair i'll probably like put in like a slip back bun or something something really simple and cute because i do have work in the morning so i don't want to do anything too crazy um to where i'm not able to uh, do my hair in the morning for work so i might just do like a side thing or i might just do a um slip back really quick something simple like a slip back bun my makeup and that's really it um all right since i know what i'm gonna wear the jewelry um i might wear gold with that because there is some type of yellow or gold in the shirt so I could incorporate that with that, but I'm not gonna wear too much jewelry to wear. It overpowers the outfit or have too much gold in the outfit. So I'm gonna just do like little stud earrings or like little hoops and like a cute little necklace and a couple rings. And that's really it for the outfit. Makeup wise, I do wanna create this makeup look that I've seen Tiffany Jones do recently. Um, she did like a couple of videos back. It was like a simple like, uh, no makeup makeup type thing you can tell she was wearing makeup obviously but it's more like a calmer version um so i might recreate that look um uh, and then i might i'm just gonna go there to show her support um but yeah because i have worked with her for a long time i've known her for about two or three years so i just want to go and show my support i know we've been she's been telling me about her candle shot and she's been working on it and wanted to actually get it going so i'm super super excited for her and her, for her business honestly and uh yeah i'm just really excited for tonight i'm ready to see what type of candles she's gonna have she's only what like scents and like flavors and different stuff like that she's gonna have but um she didn't really go into detail how they were gonna look and feel and stuff so i'm really excited about that also my other friend is going with me i ended up inviting her but i don't know if she can still able to come or not uh, i'm still waiting for her to text me if not that's cool i just go by myself and meet some new people you know that's one of the things um i want to start doing like actually going outside more and doing stuff instead of just being in the house all day like going different like small events nothing like too crazy like parties and stuff i mean i'm a, i'm really not a party person but my friends invite me to something i'm trying my best to go to it not every time but at least every other time just to say i have some form of social life because i just stay in the house all day I'm like i'm a homebody i don't do anything else but stay at home and go to work and go to target so i'm gonna try to my best to like actually leave the house more the, um the rest of this year and the upcoming year so that's the plan but you know 
things could change between now and next year so i'm gonna go ahead and start on my hair before it gets too late because it's already almost 2 30 so i'm gonna go ahead and get started on my hair and um go ahead and start just prepping myself up for the event and yeah i'll see y'all when i see you <laughs> with her whole candle business i'm going to support it um she does it every first of the month so today was the like the first day so i was so happy i was able to um come to the first um opening like the soft opening but i had so much fun but right now i'm on my way home i have fun i have to um go home so i can get ready for work in the morning so i'm glad it ended off uh early so that way i can prepare myself for work and yeah, I had really, really fun. And I met some new people and uh, connected with some new people, even though they're friends of Brie, but still just her, just knowing her and then the people she hang around with, it was really, really fun. I really loved the experience and I had a good time. I haven't went out in a long, 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 long time. And yeah, I was, I'm really, uh, I'm really happy for her. And yeah, and I had a, a really great time. 